<laughs> Don, you mentioned in the off season that Chloe had really put in the work as she wants to be a pro someday. It's really shown these these two games. She's had a double double. Just how much more confident? How much more? I guess uh, you know, just uh, well confident <laughs> does she seem out there every night? Yeah, when you put in the work, when you put in the work, and you actually see your work. Um, displayed in, in, in actual games, it, it gives you a, a confidence boost. Um, I mean, she, she, she increased her range. Like, the three is much more fluid and comfortable. Um, I mean, she knows how to play. Like, she knows how to pick and choose her spots, and she knows how to force the issue, and she's rebounding the basketball. She's just playing at a really high level. And it's, it's, it's really good to see because this is really the start of her fourth semester, which is just nothing. Like she's a sophomore, really. I guess it could definitely be worse in terms of having people out. But you talked yesterday about you know having a whole team back and figuring out minutes, and then obviously without Tessa. Just how is that going? Kind of yeah. learning lineups and yeah. everyone gelling and development and everything on your end, but obviously what you're seeing too. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. It's, it's hard, especially for our bigs, because we got seven of them, and um, sometimes they'll play in the first half and not play in the second half. Sometimes they don't get to play until the second half. Um, it's hard juggling them, and it's and it's really not for anything besides the numbers. Um, I don't think it's hard that with the guards. Um, I think Maddie's going to give us a boost. You know, her energy, her effort, her ability to facilitate for her teammates and you know when she gets comfortable she'll you know she'll get so she'll get used to getting some downhill drives she's just a totally different look than Raven and it's good to have um, the versatility of our of our guard play uh, you talk Sunday about how sometimes you win a game like this by 30 40 points you don't learn anything do you feel like you learned anything about this team tonight and if so what yeah, we learn every 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 game we play. We learn something. Um, I mean, I, I learned that at times we're not very disciplined. I'm, I'm used to us being a, a lot more disciplined than than we're playing with um, in longer stretches. Um, and then when we get up by a big lead, I, I'd rather us not try to do things to, to please the crowd. Um, it's cool if you if you connect with it. It doesn't look good if you don't. And I just try to stress to our players too, especially the ones that are WNBA eligible. It's not it's not a good look if you're trying to increase your stock to be, you know, to raise your stock when it when it comes to, you know, having GMs and and coaches view you. Like it, it really is important to play the right way. It's really important not to take chances. It's really important um, to play disciplined basketball. It's really important that. You don't press the score because they're not looking for you to come in the league and score. They're not. They're not. They're not looking you to, for you to come in and probably start. So you got to be under the radar. You got to blend in. You got to hit open shots. You got to make the right decision. And you got to get out of the way of undisciplined basketball. Don, what was it? like seeing the latest banner come down and being back home and and then having to get right into it after that. I mean it's beautiful. It's always a beautiful it's always a beautiful ceremony, no matter if the spotlight was on it or not. Um, <laughs> I knew what it was. You know, I knew and I didn't even have have my glasses on. I knew what it was. So anytime you're you're able to be a part of, you know, the the very people who have covered us, the very people that have, you know, traveled with us, um, the very, very people who, who always seem to, to make this a, you know, a home court advantage for us, you know, to unveil the, the banner with them is always a great thing. It's always, and it's only one, it's only one team that is able to do that, and we've been able to do it three times in the past seven years, and that's, that's incredible. 
Coach, we talked to Malaysia just now, and she was talking about, you know, she doesn't try to put on a show, but when she connects on those things, it is a show. These fans are, are entertained, no doubt. But you're kind of touching on it a little bit. And is there, how do you coach that balance of she wants to add that spice, but you also want her to be disciplined? Um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a battle with Lay. And I, you know, it's not that she understands. Like, she really understands. Um, I mean, she's really dynamic. She's a dynamic guard. I, I thought, for the most part, she was lean as lean could be, like, like playing great, and and sometimes she can't bite the bullet. Um, but if she could play as lean as she played today, I can eat some of the stuff that she tries to do. Is is when it's when it's not as lean as it was today. You're still trying, and maybe sometimes that gets her going a little bit. So she, you know, I give her a little leeway with it, but I also let her know, you know, I let her know during the game, like your game was like great, like efficient. You know, it's the game slowed down for you. You were doing a, a lot. You were facilitating. Um, and then she gets anxious to make a play. And a lot of times it is to her teammate. Like it is an unselfish thing that really gets her in trouble for us. We, we want her to go, go score. Don't go try to make the spectacular pass. They're not ready. They're not ready. So go score. You miss. They're going to get the rebound. So it's those types of instances. And it's just a conversation. Like I, I enjoy She knows now. Like she could actually – if I say something, she can finish the sentence. But she can't hear me in those moments in the game. <laughs> yeah. You uh, talked about third banner in seven years, 60th straight home win today. How do you sort of put that in perspective, you know, with former players, current players, on, yeah. on the run that you guys are on right now? I don't. I just think about the, the next game. I really do. Like, it's, if we stop to think about what we've accomplished, we'll let our guard down. So I, I think it's great that you roll it off. I didn't know that you can roll it off because I've moved on to the next, you know, to the next game. I, I, it's unimaginable. Like, you don't, yeah, you think about winning national championships, but you don't think about how you do it. Like, you don't think about, you know, a 60-game home win streak. It's not, it's not one of the goals that we set, but to actually um, live it and do it and, and be a part of it is, I mean, you, I, I got I to tip my hat to all the players and all the coaches that have created what we've created. Um, so I think it's, I think it's remarkable, but I, I'm not going to think about it after I, after I leave this, after I walk through that door, um, but only trying to just add to the next one. Try to get better. Like, this team has to get better. We have to figure out a way in which, um, you know, Chloe's becoming that, that dominant post, and it's, it's in a different way. Um, I think once Ash, you know, knocks the rust off, she's going to be all right. Once Adele knocks the rust, rust off, She'll be okay, and I collectively, like I think our, our team is gonna be all right. It's just we gotta settle in, and we just gotta play a lot more lean because we don't have a six foot seven that we just throw it into, and she shoots 60% from the floor, and she blocks shots, so we have to do it another way. I, I like our defense. I like what our defense is, is doing, our rotations. We gotta be, we gotta be a little bit better one-on-one -on -one in, you know, in the paint. I'd be a lot better with that, and that's that's doing our work early, and not and not allowing great position and and easy catches. Yeah, yeah, coach. You mentioned earlier this week that the last couple of neutral site site games felt like home games for you. Uh, what can you just say about the fan support that you have received, especially with the the championship run that you guys have been on? I, I'd say the fan support is, 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 has been uncommon. Like, uh, our theme is uncommon, and that is a tribute to what's happened here in Columbia, South Carolina. Like, it's, it's not a common thing that we win. Um, 
that we have a 60 game home win streak. It's not, I think we're on 41 now. Like it's, it's uncommon. So I, I think, I mean, <laughs> it's unimaginable as well. Like again, I, I wanted to win national championships here. Didn't know what that would look like. Didn't have a vision for it. I didn't. I didn't see, like, like a like a sold out arena. It's weird, but I I was just looking at. I was just one sided, like narrow minded, and trying to put a product on the floor that could win a national championship. I didn't really look at the external or the peripheral, but the people here have have created you know something beautiful that that can only organically happen it wasn't forced it just organically happened and when it happens that way it it lasts much longer than if you force it don't any concern at all that, that raven sanaya Bree, you know players that have been here a long time maybe aren't having like the kind of dominant impact early in games, maybe not struggling, but it's like not really used to, to what we're all seeing. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, sometimes it happens. You know, I, I, I do know that that this is a real thing. When, when we have our, our, you know, our WNBA eligible players, sometimes it's, it happens during the season at some point. It hasn't happened this early, like, and, and maybe that's not what they're thinking about, but I'm sure they are thinking about it. Um, and it, it, it makes you press, and it it gets you out of, you know, your your norm, your normal routine of focusing on the game. Your focus becomes something else, and then the things that you do well aren't aren't up to par. So, I mean, it's. It's conversations, it is, they, they understand it, but you really can't control it. So we just have to try to our best to get them back into their habits and let them know that, and show them the film, and let them know that, again, the least of their worries is scoring. <laughs> if you can defend, if you can blend in, if you can make good decisions, sometimes making good decisions is just, Playing most conservatively, like don't try to force the issue. Let me just pass it off and let me stand over here. Shot comes, let me shoot my normal routine and technique. Hit it, you look good. But you know that that simple part of the game escapes them because they feel like they have to do something. And it's it's just being a competitor. Like we're we're in the game to impress. We're in the game to make do something that makes us feel good um, and, and to showcase our talent. But you got to know when it's not working out. But I don't, I'm, I'm not worried. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not worried about, about them at all. You kind of alluded to this in a couple different questions, but just kind of going further team wide, do you kind of see a consistent trend that's maybe the cause for some of these slowish starts, slowish first halves? Um, not saying you should be worried right now, it's three games in, but just something maybe team wide in general you're looking at as a cause for some of that? No, just a new team. I mean, total, I mean, it's the same team, but it's a new team. We, I mean, you, with, with the dynamics have changed. The way we do things um, have changed, especially offensively. Like we don't have a anchor. You just throw it up, she grabs it, calms everybody down, scores or leads to a score. Like, you know, Fagan, Fagan moving into the, the starting lineup, um, it's, it's new for her. And one player can change the whole trajectory of of everything and the whole chemistry, and it's not. I'm not saying this is her. It's just the unit playing together, um, and and you know sometimes she gets off to slow starts. Um, today she got off to a slow start. I thought NC State played great, got off to a great start. So it's her feeling that that position out. Chloe is is playing tremendously well. Um, our guards are not connected for some reason or another. 
Um, they're pressing a little bit, natural. Um, we'll get back into the flow of things. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.